Hi, it's Maria from Still Dreaming Homestead. Well, I'm feeling well enough that I am outside. I took a little ride. I'm several miles from my house and I'm letting the dogs run around while I'm sitting enjoying the sun. <clears throat> I had some things I wanted to talk to you about, but I'm going to do them in uh, bite-sized pieces so it's not very long. But when I was sick, and I'm almost well now, uh, but today's day 13, yikes. I was on mass media a little more than normal. I'm on it quite a bit anyhow, just because I think it's a, a great source of information. But there were some things that came to my mind that were not good at all. So I live in Oregon, and in Oregon, I believe it was, I honestly, I can't remember whether it was six or nine children in a more metropolitan area that had tested very high for lead. So they had lead poisoning. Now, <clears throat> lead is toxic to all of us, adults and children, but it is especially dangerous for children, young children. They're still developing and brain ha is toxic uh, all over, but especially to the brain. So it can cause damage to, these, to their little developing brains. And that is something we want to avoid at all cost. Well, the first article that I read was linking it to several different brands of applesauce that come in those little pouches that the kids suck out of. Um, and so my initial thought is, what is that packaging made out of? But that wasn't it. And although I'm still opposed to buying those in general, I think they're, you know, on a rare occasion, there might be a good reason for it, um, to go bags or something like that. But generally, we don't need to fill up our landfills with all this single serving stuff when it is so easy to find another source, whether you're making it or just getting a good quality someplace else. But it wasn't the applesauce either. What they tagged it down to on the last article that I read was to the cinnamon. Now I have never known cinnamon to be toxic. Uh, filled with lead. So I'm wondering how is the lead getting into the cinnamon? Something that I found out is the FDA here in the United States does not do any testing for heavy metals in spices. Now that's whether they're regular spices or organic spices that you get in the you know, cans and, and bottles. There's no testing at all that goes on for them. So that really is a shame. Now, I'm gonna tell you how you can best, how I can best avoid getting extra lead that I don't want. And this is, it's a really easy thing to do. So for now on, I'm going to look in the bulk item areas and I'm going to get whole spices. Now cinnamon is a bark and it comes in cinnamon sticks, little rolled up things. And, uh, but you know, it depends what type of spice you're going after, um, what shape it's in. So for the cinnamon, what I'm going to do, I purchased a little coffee grinder just for grinding up things. You can get them for under $10. It's a really good deal. Um, you could probably use a Vitamix or a good blender uh, for some of these. I don't know about food processors because honestly I've never had one. And of course mortar and pestle if you really needed to. That seems like quite a bit of work but you know whatever a person wants to do. So I'm going to buy cinnamon sticks and 
and whole spices in general. And with the cinnamon sticks, you'll have to break them up into smaller bits. I suppose I'll use a hammer for that. And then I'm going to put it in my little coffee grinder. Just a few little pushes of that, zip, 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 and it will be ground up nice and fine. A benefit of grinding your own spices is when they are in the whole state before they're ground, they contain all of those wonderful essential oils that give it the wonderful fragrance that we love and the taste, and that's fresh. So we will be enjoying our spices much more in this manner. So that's my hint for today at this location. I hope you enjoy it. I hope that is, if it's something you're interested in, you leave me a little note. Share this with your friends, best way to help my um, YouTube channel grow. And I wanna pray blessings on you and yours in your house and out of your house, in the day and in the night, and whatever you do, keep dreaming. God bless you.